BYU women's volleyball star Alexa Gray is the WCC Player of the Week as the volleyball team now has won nine of the last ten matches, including wins last week over St. Mary's and Pacific. Here's BYU TV's Skylar Hartman on Alexa's Road to Provo. Alexa Gray is a Canadian-born volleyball player taking BYU and the West Coast Conference by storm. That's your winner! Last year as a true freshman, she was instrumental in the Cougars' success. She had an immediate impact on our team. Uh, she was an integral part to our success last year, to our, our run into the Sweet 16. She was a freshman, you know, All-American, and uh, you just don't come around kids like that. In 2013, the Cougars need Alexa to be a leader, and she's stepped into that role. Hitting 330, she's on pace for almost 500 points this year. She is as fun-loving as any of her teammates, but her journey to BYU is unique. In 2008, Alexa, her mother, and only sister Jordan were in a car accident. It was night, probably like 11-ish, and there was an elk on the, on the highway, so we hit that and rolled. My mom's side was um, just like, it was more like destroyed than our side, so she wasn't able to get out, and um, by the time the ambulance got there, it was like a little too late, so she passed away on the scene. The two sisters moved about 100 miles to live with their aunt and uncle. He has six kids, so I kind of inherited six little siblings, so it was kind of a, a different household, I guess, you had to get used to it. After a year or so of living with the LDS family, Jordan and Alexa decided to meet with the Mormon missionaries. We kind of wanted answers, like, about why that would happen, why such tragic things would happen to her, because she was such a like awesome mom and lady to be around. We were baptized on the same day, like one after another. I was baptized first, and then her. Jordan also led the way to BYU, where the two now live together in a home off campus. They do just about everything together, and Jordan rarely misses a home volleyball match. And with her sister looking on, Alexa hopes to lead the Cougars to another conference championship. Skyler is here with us, so you're our sideline reporter for those broadcasts. What makes Alexa such a good volleyball player? I think Alexa always comes through in the clutch. When a big situation comes up, she really just drives home a kill against San Diego, number two in the nation. Right. She came up big a couple times, and she really basically single-handedly closed out the second set, which put BYU up two to none in that match. With Jennifer Hampson sitting out this season to play basketball, there, there was this perceived drop-off from a year ago. Uh, but they are on a roll, and Alexa's leading the way. Definitely. You saw the drop-off a little early in the season, mm -hmm. but as Alexa has gotten in a rhythm with the rest of the girls on the team, and they've really found a way to pull together, they look as good as ever. We learned a lot about her mom there. Her biological father is a tremendous athlete. Is that where she gets a lot of her, her abilities? No doubt. Her dad, Everett Gray, played college basketball down at UNLV, and he's actually living up in Salt Lake, so he's able to come watch Jordan play a lot of volleyball, or Jordan play rugby, excuse right. me, and Alexa play volleyball. He's, he's actually down here at BYU quite a bit. That's great. I covered him during his senior season at UNLV, and now we get to cover the daughters. Good report, Skyler. Thank you. All right.